I've got to talk to you now, haven't I? Beth and Edward. So, summer is here, the Olympics is upon us. I mean, we have under two weeks until it all kicks off. A lot of you are probably thinking, yeah, I want to keep fit. I want to uh, work on them guns. And then there's just some reasons why you really, really just don't want to do it anymore. Maybe you've kept it up as a hobby, going really well, and then things just happen and you don't want to do it again. Take me with running. Now, I love running. I mean, um, I run pretty much every morning. Things just keep adding up and you think, why am I even doing this? Why? Why? I, 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 Delilah. I go off on my morning jog every day. I'm jogging along, really happy with myself life in general. I'm taking in the surroundings, you know, smiling. Everything's just going well. Until... A fly! A fly just goes into my mouth. I feel so sick. I'm literally, I'm on the floor, I'm dying. And then this guy comes along and he's like... You need to watch out for the flies. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Thanks. Thanks, guy. So as you can probably tell, I left my run and I walked home just miserable. I hated life and running from that point, really. I can hear birds just bit, bit, bit away. Shut up! Basically, I travel a lot. I mean, a lot. I'm always taking my suitcase with me. I'm kind of going around the country. Now, whenever I get into London, because I live quite close to London, I get into my station and then something just clicks and I'm like run and I don't know why I grab my suitcase and I just run there's just something that takes over my mind is that suitcase I swear to god the suitcase just takes over your mind and people are probably looking at me thinking she's got a bomb in there if you can just picture me just running through London with this suitcase just like run it's not good it's not good at all and I'm on the tube, and I'm just chilled. I'm chilled on the tube, I'm just normal. I just sit there and I'm like... Doo, 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 doo. But then, as soon as them doors open, boom, I'm running, I'm gone. I'm just running with my suitcase again. Weird, I know. Now, my last reason, which should probably have stopped me running from this age, is quite terrifying, to be honest. So, we've just got off a plane, we've just arrived into America, I'm about 12, I'm with all my family, you know, we're all excited, we've just arrived in the USA. You know you have to go through that kind of like, passport thing and you know they take a thing of your eye and a fingerprint. We're just getting up to that and my cousin whispers in my ear, Bevan, Bevan, what? I bear you five dollars that you can't touch. American grass before me. What? And that was it. That was it. That was challenge accepted. He's all wound me up. I'm thinking, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very competitive, as it is. So I'm thinking, right, okay, okay. I've got to get that $5. I've got to get it. I've got to get it. I'm all agitated. I'm all fidgety. Yeah, come on. As soon as that is done, and that woman hands me back my passport, I grab my suitcase, and I run. I mean, in America, the security out there is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it was about a year, two years after 9-11, got these massive guns, and I'm just running through the airport. You know, they start radioing it. We got a ma'am here uh, running with a suitcase. My mom's going nuts. My sister's boyfriend's freaking out like, oh my God, she's gonna get shot. And I don't care. I really don't care. I don't even notice any of this. I just wanna touch the ground. I run out and I'm there and I'm waiting for all my family to come through just so I can be like, oh, I touched the ground first, give me my money. All I am greeted to are just very, very stern faces. My sister's boyfriend is like freaking out. My mum is having a right go at me and my cousin in the background. <laughs> I hate you. And that's the reasons why I really don't run, because I look like a terrorist. End of. So if you've got any stupid stories about you trying to keep fit, put them in the comments below and we can all laugh at you too. So like, comment, subscribe, um, and keep up the good work, my...
mini eggs. Yep, that's what you're gonna be called now. Yep.